Hi everyone, welcome back. Today's book is the last in the garden series that we're going to be covering. Uh, we're, we'll move on to a different theme next week, uh, but for today we're going to cover the book Up, Down, and Around by Katherine Ayers, illustrated by Nadine Bernard Westcott. Now we're going to be saying these words a lot, okay? We're going to be saying the word up, down, and around. Ready? You see these pictures? We have some ants going up the plant and we have some going down the plant. And over here, what do you think uh, the word is that we're going to be saying? We're going to be saying around, right? So we're going to do up, down, and around. And these are the symbols that you're going to see throughout the whole book. Up, down, and around. In the dirt, we'll dig a row, drop some seeds, and watch them grow. Dirt piles up. Seeds go down. Water splashes around and around. Corn grows up. Carrots grow down. Do you see how we're using those words a lot? Up and down. Cucumbers climb around and around. Peppers grow. Which way, my friends? Up. That's right. Potatoes grow. Which way, my friends? Down. Excellent. Pumpkins vine. Which way, guys? Which way? That's right. Around and around. Broccoli grows up. Beets grow which way? Good job. Down. Green beans wind which way, my friends? That's right. Around and around. Good job. Okra grows up. Onions grow down. I'm so glad you're saying that with me. Tomatoes twine. Which way, my friends? Around and around. Fresh and tasty. Get a bunch. Pick some. Pull some. Let's have lunch. And look, this is the same picture we saw at the beginning of our book. Remember the words that we're practicing today? What word was that? Yup. 
and they also go, which word is that? Good job. What about this one? Around and around. Excellent, guys. And this is the back cover. Here's the front cover again. What words are we talking about today? Up. Down. And. Around. Excellent job, you guys. Very good. Now, what's special about these words? Up, down, and around is that they tell us where things are or which direction things are going or things are moving. And it's important to use those words because if you're trying to explain something to someone and it's hard for you to explain where things are, then other people are gonna have a harder time understanding what you mean. So if you say, I'm gonna walk over there, but you're going downstairs, then it might be more helpful for you to say, I'm going downstairs. Or if you say, I'm going to throw this, it might be helpful to say, I'm gonna throw it up into the trees and get it stuck there, <laughs> right? Okay. Well, good job, guys. Thank you so much for reading this with me. You did such a good job. Now, if you want, you can re-watch this video and uh, you'll see how much more you'll be able to, uh, to tell about the book the next time you watch the video because you'll be familiar with it. Now, come with me. I'm gonna go show you the progress on my baby plants. Have they grown? Have they stayed the same? Or did they not make it? Let's go. All right, guys, so here we are taking another look, our last look at these little plants. And as you can see, this one has grown quite a bit since the last time, but it's still a baby plant. And then this one, which is corn, uh, it keeps getting taller and taller. Look at that. So I'm excited to see what happens uh, through this summer. The tomato plants look the same. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Maybe they're getting too much water or too much sun. Maybe not enough water. I don't know, but I'm going to keep at it and hopefully they'll become something, right? Maybe we'll see some tomatoes this summer. And these are the two that I haven't done anything with. So we have tomatoes, corn, and our mystery maybe lettuce plant. Okay, guys. Hi again, so I hope you guys took uh, a lot out of this gardening unit. Um, when you look all around the spring, um, around your neighborhood, around your yards, um, at the park, if you get a chance to go to the park again soon, uh, you'll see that there's just a lot more green, a lot more flowers, and just a lot more uh, growth and many more bugs too. Uh, so hopefully you guys took a lot out of that. And the next uh, unit we're going to do is going to be very exciting, too. You want to know what also uh, grows a lot in the spring? Not plants. They do, but I'm thinking of something else. Animals. Baby animals. So the next theme we're going to do is going to talk a lot about animals. Uh, so I look forward to sharing uh, uh, more videos and more books with you on that theme. All right, I hope you enjoyed this one. I miss you guys so, so much, and see you next week. Bye.